in this particular session we will continue with our static analysis part where we gonna use android studio to decompile our application and analyze the smiley code so let's get started for that part just go with your android studio here just close the project if you have any open project go with the close and from here just go with the open part and under this open here you can analyze that we can open the folders as well as we can also open this applications as well right let's say i want to analyze this android 04.apk file right just go with ok this time and from the archive you can see we got our dex file that again stands for your dalvik executable and we know all the java or all the kotlin code was stored inside this dex file so when i click on this dex file you can see we got other folders as well like we got the com here then we got the pen tester lab and under pen tester lab we got your main activity as well so if i double click here you can see we got the multiple folders and multiple methods out there and if you want to analyze go with the right click and go with show byte code here and this was the byte code if you want to analyze the byte code here but as we have seen in the previous sessions that your byte code is not so useful right if you are not familiar with the byte code things if you are okay with the java part you can easily convert this dalvik executable file into your jar file and then you can analyze for this conversion part you can use some tools like simple you can use dex to jar right so you can simply convert this dex file into any jar file and for that just go with your kali machine go with your terminal and search here for d2j for the dex to jar we call it it doesn't comes with your kali linux so you have to install it and for the installation just go with the simple command like your apt install dex to jar and this will simply install dex to jar into your kali machine after installation go with d2j hyphen dex to jar and there you have to specify the location for your dex file so you can convert the dalvik executable code into a java archive and then and later on you will be able to analyze that jar file with your like jdgui or the bytecode viewer so for that right now let's simply unzip any application so i'll go with this folder here android 03 and we don't have any file here just go back let's go with our diva beta and we again don't have any file so i'll go with documents go with application go with android 02 and here we have this android 02 application i'll remove all these files shift delete and from here i'll simply extract it right go with the extract extract with the same folder and we got the files right one of the file we get here is the glasses.dex file and if you want to convert this classes.dex file just open your terminal in the same location with the right click open in terminal and just write the command d2j hyphen dex to jar and there you have to specify the path like classes.dex file if there were multiple files like classes 1.dex classes 2.dex classes 3.dex you can also specify a simple thing like classes star dot dex where your asterisk or this particular star will act as a wildcard character right or you can only use this when there was multiple classes dot dex file right now we only have a single file so i'll go with simple classes dot dex and hit enter this will give me a jar file right so i can directly analyze this jar file into any code viewer like simple jd hyphen gui we have here just go with the file open file go with the location i'll go with the root documents application android 02 your classes 2 hyphen dex to jar dot jar that we have just converted go with the ok and from here you can analyze the java code and we got the java code here you can see this java code is in much better readable format as compared to your byte code here if you just go with byte code right click show byte code and this is not so much readable here as compared to this one right so you can but again if you want you can use your android studio as well to decompile your application to read the manifest file if you want to read the manifest file 
you can simply directly read the manifest file from this android studio you can go with some meta information as well you can also go with some resources as well but if we talk about the java code then it's not so useful but for the other resources and the manifest and some other files it's good to use so you can also use your android studio for decompilation as well and one more thing like if you are writing your application like if you are coding your application here and then you are compiling the application then it's much better to read the java code in the android studio so this was the basic introduction about the decompilation from android studio we will keep on going with these tools one by one in later on sessions have a good day and stay connected